guys, it's Carrie. I'm looking at some interesting Indian animals today. Clouded leopard. They are mostly found resting on a tree during the daylight. They are nocturnal and hunt at night. A male can weigh up to 23 kilograms. They have the longest canine teeth relative to body size in any cat. They use their long tail and low centre of gravity and powerful legs to climb trees. They are quite adept at climbing and perfectly comfortable crossing narrow branches. They can leap up to 1.2 metres high to get into a tree or onto another branch. Clouded leopards can open their mouths to an impressive 100 degree angle. They are one of the few animals and one of only two cat species that can climb down trees head first. Royal Bengal Tiger The Bengal Tiger arrived in India approximately 12,000 years ago. Their canine teeth can grow to 10 centimetres. The tigers in the Sundarbans in India and Bangladesh are the only ones in the world inhabiting mangrove forests. There are approximately 90 tigers there. In this bioregion, tigers swim between the islands in the delta to hunt prey. Size of tigers depend on the density of tigers, the type of habitat and the size of their prey. As well as their usual prey animals, Bengal tigers occasionally hunt and kill predators such as the Indian leopard, Indian wolf, Indian jackal, fox, mugger crocodile, Asian black bear, sloth bear and dog. They generally do not attack Indian elephants and rhinos. A male tiger keeps a large territory in order to include the home ranges of several females within its bounds so that he maintains mating rights with them. With reproduction, the male knows when the female is sexually receptive by smelling her urine and genital area. After courtship where trust is gained, the tigress lies on her belly presenting to the male, forelegs fully extended and hind legs partially bent. At this point, the male mounts her in a knee bent position. Sometimes he will vocalise loudly. Copulation happens many times over the next few days. This is facilitated by the baculum bone in the penis. As he dismounts, the female responds by growling and jumping up so as to dislodge him. She may even slap or box at the male, inflicting severe, though superficial scratches. Both cats will vocalise loudly and it is during mating that tigers are at their noisiest. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Palace Cat Hummingbird Hornbill Monal Indian Rhino The Indian Rhinoceros fights with its razor sharp lower outer incisor teeth, not with its horn. Such teeth or tusks can reach 13 centimeters in length. It will slash and gouge viciously with the long sharp incisors and canine teeth on its lower jaw. Neither the black nor the white rhino has incisors, so only the Indian and Sumatran rhinos have canines, but all five species have three premolars and three molars on each side of their upper and lower jaws. The rhino's single horn is present in both males and females, but not on newborn young. The black horn is pure keratin, like human fingernails, and starts to show after about six years. In most adults, the horn reaches a length of about 25 centimeters, but has been recorded up to 36 centimeters in length, weighing three kilos. 
Males have a head and body length up to 3.8 meters with a shoulder height of nearly 1.9 meters. Males average around 2,200 kilograms. Asian elephant. There are three subspecies, the Indian, Sumatran and Sri Lankan. The Indian has the widest range and accounts for the majority of the remaining elephants on the continent. The Sri Lankan is physically the largest of the subspecies and also the darkest in colour. The Sumatran is the smallest. A significant number of male Asian elephants don't have tusks. The percentage of males with ivory varies from just 5% in Sri Lanka to around 90% in southern India, possibly reflecting the intensity of past ivory hunting. Crocodile? They hunt by stealthily stalking their prey from water. Some species ambush their prey as they drink from the water's edge. Many species are able to kill and eat large mammals such as zebras, wildebeest and even humans. Once it has caught its prey, a crocodile will then drag it into the water and drown it. The Bengal fox is more daintily built than the red fox and can be easily recognised by its bushy black tipped tail. The basic social unit of the Bengal fox is the breeding pair formed by a pair of bonds that can last for many years. Larger aggregations may occur or grown pups linger longer than average in the natal community. Gower bull. Gower occur in heavily fragmented populations in Yunnan and southeastern Tibet. Both sexes have horns that are flattened at the base and curved throughout their length and are bent inward and slightly backwards at their tips. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.